Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, this is a quick look at what is the latest build of Windows 11, which is in the dev channel. These are future um, updates. So basically what's happening in the dev channel is what we'll see in Windows 11 in a near future or maybe in the next update. Some of the things make it, some don't. And usually we have pretty much a weekly update. I don't recommend that you use your main computer for a dev channel build. I do recommend that you uh, use either a PC that you don't, you know, not doing anything and you want to try Windows 11 and see stuff from the future or in a virtual environment uh, because the um, Windows 11 dev channel builds are or could be really unstable, although for now they're working well. So build 22478, as you see in the watermark on the bottom right, is released yesterday, October 14th. Um, install went pretty fast. In general, these are quite quick uh, updates, um, you know, half an hour max. Uh, but it depends on the machine you have. Some uh, could be much longer depending on how old your computer is. What's new in here? that we'll see in the future maybe maybe not well the first thing that they did is emojis they've uh, now started to play around with um, fluent emojis fluent design for you guys that might remember what that's all about which is a change in the way things are and the transparencies and the panels and so on so uh, they have started to bring emojis in the Fluent world for some of those that might be interested in seeing that. I am not a user of emojis, so I'm really not that interested in this. But if you are, um, this is going to be uh, the it's a package that is bringing the emoji up to emoji 13.1. So uh, that's pretty much the big thing on this version <clears throat> for the rest uh, when your laptop is closed you're not it's now possible to log into your PC using facial recognition Windows allow on a connected and external monitor if it has a camera attached to it so you don't have to you know um, open the laptop you can keep it you know closed in the in a clamshell basically position closed and uh, it's still gonna work when the camera sees your face. They uh, also have added a small little thing. When you put your mouse pointer on the volume, you see the volume control. Now, right, mine says 100%. If you scroll with the mouse, you now can actually change it just by the little mouse wheel for scrolling. Or in my case, what I do is two fingers on the trackpad and going up and down on my trackpad on the keyboard. So that's something they added here. And they made some small adjustments to a dialog when adding new language to in the settings. So uh, just to have it look more modern, apparently. Uh, you know, it's a work in progress as it's uh, version 1.0 and we're moving ahead. So they're gonna have all of these things happening uh, basically with uh, the different options, different menus are going to be, uh, you know, kind of modernized for those that are still looking like the old Windows 10. And I say old Windows 10 when it isn't that old, actually. And of course, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of bug fixes. So if you are in the dev channel, you should have um, also some things that are fixed in here if you had some issues in the dev channel. Keep in mind, these are things that are coming eventually someday to Windows 11 near you, and it could be even next year. So, uh, you know, no rush. Uh, this is really just dev channel build on Windows Insiders. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.